Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, everyone. Hello. Hello, hello. People coming in. Okay, good. How many do we have? Well, just, there are more people waiting. Okay, how was your day, people? Good? A lot of work, not too much work. Okay. Well, there are some others still waiting to come in. Okay, while the others come in, I will start you know, sharing my my screen so that we can see the next topic, right? So we're going to, well, not the next topic, it's just a review of what we did yesterday. Then we have the knowledge check. Um, Okay. All right. So we have the knowledge check, which is the section, section one, what are you going to do? And then we have the knowledge check. 
for, okay? Uh, this is the, like the summary, okay, uh, of what we did yesterday, right? Uh, just uh, don't forget to turn on your cameras, please, everybody. Okay, keep your cameras on, right? And then here we have a, then an image first. This is what we're gonna do. So take a look at the picture. Still loading. That is taking forever. Okay, so the the idea here is that listen, listen, listen to the interview. What are these people going to do? Okay, as you can see in the picture, what do you think they are going to do? What are their plans? Remember yesterday we were talking about uh, what you were going to do today, right? I'm going to work, I'm going to do this. I'm not like the plans you had. Okay, what about this people? What do you think they are going to do? Any idea? I think I think uh, uh, the man the man uh -huh, is interview. Uh -huh. He's interviewing a woman, right? He's interviewing a woman. And probably, you know, he's asking them, right, what they are going to do. And then, what do you think? Just to practice, right? What do you think they are going to do? They're going to, they're going to go to school. They're going to go to work. They're going to, what? I think the, the she. She is, is she uh, music music uh, she is sing she's a musician uh -huh. yes she's a musician uh -huh. and then what is she going to do she's going to is she going to the gym Okay, it's going to celebrate a birthday, it's going to meet a friend, it's going to go shopping. Okay, so these are, you know, some of the options that that you have. Okay, let's listen to, well, let's see if we can now listen to this. Okay, there is a problem. Okay, we cannot play from here. Let's see if this one works. Okay, listen, and while we listen, we have to say, uh, we have to uh, check if, wait a minute, somebody else wants to come in. Okay, uh, for example, Michelle is going to, then you have four options. Kevin is going to, you have these four options. Robert is going to, then you have these four options here. And then you have the game is going to, then you have this other four up. Okay, good. Then let's listen. Good evening. I'm Al Rivers with KXQ News Radio. I'm talking with people waiting for the bus tonight. I'm finding out how they're going to spend their evening. What's your name? It's Michelle. 
I bet you're going to go to the gym tonight. No, not tonight. I'm going to meet a friend. We're going to run together in the park. And what's your name? Kevin. Are you going home now, Kevin? No, not right now. First, I'm going to go to the video game arcade. Oh, so you're going to play video games? Yeah, I am. Can I ask your name? Yes, my name's Robert. Are you going to do anything interesting tonight? Well, my friend Chris is going to have a party, but I'm going to work at home. I have all my work right here in my briefcase. So you can't go to the party. You're going to work tonight. That's right. And what's your name? I'm Jane. Do you have any plans for this evening? I just bought some new CDs, so I'm going to listen to music tonight. What kind of music is it? Jazz. I always listen to jazz. Okay, if you see, this is one um, a strategy, right? This is, a, you know, probably a technique that you can use. For example, you... Meaning? You click here, right? Then you open the, the listening. And once it is ready, then you can play it here. Good evening. And then you go I'm back. Al Rivers with KXQ News Radio. And then you go back I'm talking with people. Wait. Alguien tiene el micrófono abierto. Puede cerrar. Okay, so I can interfere with the sound. Thank you. Then. Waiting for the bus tonight. I'm finding out how they're going to spend their evening. What's your name? It's Michelle. I bet you're going to go to the gym tonight. No, not tonight. I'm going to meet a friend. We're going to run together in the park. And what's your... Okay, so what is she going to do? What is Michelle going to do? Michelle, meeting is, a friend. Michelle is going to meet, meet in a friend. Meet a friend? Meet a friend. Okay, going to meet a friend. Let's see. Then... Your name? Kevin. Are you going home now, Kevin? No, not right now. First, I'm going to go to the video game arcade. Oh, so you're going to play video games? Yeah, I am. Okay, what about, Can I, uh, what about Kevin? What is he going to do? Play video games. Okay, so play video games. Play video games. All right, good. And then we have... Ask your name. Yes, my name's Robert. Are you going to do anything interesting tonight? Well, my friend Chris is going to have a party, but I'm going to work at home. I have all my work right here in my briefcase. Okay. So you can't go to the party. You're going to work tonight. That's right. Okay, what about Robert? What Robert, about is going, Robert is going, going to work at home. Work at home. Work work at home. 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 Right, to work at home. Work at home. Okay, it's going to work at home. And then the last one. And what's your name? I'm Jane. Do you have any plans for this evening? I just bought some new CDs, so I'm going to listen to music tonight. What kind of music is it? Jazz. I always listen to jazz. Okay. What about Jane? What is she going to listen, listen to music? Listen to music. Listen to music. That's right. So then, as you can see here, we have 33%. All of them are correct, right? So as you can see, then uh, you listen, you check the sentence or question, and then after, you know, you, you choose. Remember that these exercises, you can listen to them like two, three times, okay? As many times as you wish. Okay, so this is, you know, what are these people going to do? Okay, so every person, every character in this picture, they have, uh, you know, something to do, right? Something special or a personal activity. Okay. 
Then we're going to move to the next one. Okay. Now we have. Eh, recuerden de tener sus micrófonos apagados y lo encienden cuando quieran participar para que no haya interferencia de sonido, right? Then we have uh, the objective here. Claudia Patricia, would you please read this objective here by the end of this class? Yeah. By the end of this class, you will learn how, how to sound natural. When talking about future planes by reducing going to by reducing going to, okay? Remember, uh, at the end of the class last night, you were asking me about the pronunciation of going to and gonna, right? This is, for example, when you reduce the pronunciation of going to, it will sound like gonna, okay? So this is what we are going okay. to, to do here, right? And Like that. Hi everyone. In this class you'll learn how to sound natural when talking about future plans by reducing be going to. Let's start by listening to the pronunciation of going to. Reduction of going to. Are you going to have a party? No. I'm going to go out with a friend. Are you going to go to a restaurant? Yes. We're going to go to Nick's Cafe. When spoken, going to is usually going to sound as gonna. Let's analyze the examples one more time. Are you going to have a party? No, I'm going to go out with a friend. Are you going to go to a restaurant? Yes. We're going to go to Nick's Cafe. As I mentioned in a previous class in which I talked about pronunciation. Pronunciation is one of the most difficult to learn in English. And this is because there are many exceptions to rules that we may mention. The best way to learn pronunciation is by listening carefully and repeating. Today's topic is quite universal. And if you watch your favorite TV program in English, you'll hear gonna instead of going to. So I would like for you to do just that. Watch your favorite TV program in English and pay attention to how going to is pronounced. Okay, so you see this is basically, you know, what we were talking about yesterday that we say uh, we're going to do it. That's the, the speaking. Okay, when you are speaking or when we are speaking English, that's the most common way to use it, right? It's just going. We're going to play, we're going to work, we're going to study, what, um, we're going to do this, we're going to do that instead of we're going. To. Okay. Now, after that, we're going to go to do some practice. It says, by the end of this class, you will be able to talk about holidays in the U.S. Okay, now we're going to see moments or events or special days, holiday, that they celebrate in the United States. Come on, play. Okay. Kind of rebel tonight.
Hi everyone. In this class you learn vocabulary related to holidays in the US. Let's get started by learning the holidays that you see on this chart. Holidays in the US. New Year's Day, January 1st. Valentine's Day, February 14th. Independence Day, July 4th. Halloween, October 31st. Thanksgiving, fourth Thursday in November. Christmas, December 25th. Now, I would like for you to use the vocabulary to talk about your plans for this coming holidays. For example, Valentine's Day is going to be on February 14th. I'm going to invite my wife to a special restaurant. Write similar sentences as this one. The goal is to use the vocabulary and going to. After you finish this task, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, so we have uh... for you to use the vocabulary to talk about your plans for this coming holidays. For example, so the holidays they mention are example, New Year's Eve, or New Year's Day, sorry. Uh, the New Year's Eve is the 31st, December 31st. The New Year's Day is January 1st. Uh, Valentine's Day, we saw it yesterday. The 14th, then we have Independence Day, July 4th. Uh, we saw in the Salvador is September 15th. Halloween, October 31st. Thanksgiving which is the fourth Thursday in November, and Christmas is December 25th. Okay, so these are like special days, holidays, the most common ones that they celebrate in the United Team. States. I'm going to work in our discussion forums. Okay, one more, because this is what we did last night, I feel of the similar image, right? So here, uh, Ismael, could you please read this objective here? By the yeah. end. Okay, by the end of the class, you will be able to ask and answer WH question using be going to. Additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrators how these topics is useful in a real life setting. Okay, good. Uh, last night we practiced with, are you going to, there's no question, and what are you going to do tomorrow, okay? But now you will see other WH uh, words, okay? So, uh, WH words or question words that we can use uh, when we're using that going to, what are you going to do? When are you going to do? Where are you going to go? Where are you going to study? Okay, where are you going to spend your vacation? Why are you going to study French? Okay, so other WH words. Now listen to the video, and after that, we are going to go to practice in the breakout room. Okay, so let's see. Okay, now. It's Moving a little bit faster. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn how to ask 
and answer WH questions using be going to. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening and practicing a conversation titled, Have a Good Valentine's Day. So, Tyler, are you going to do anything special for Valentine's Day? Yeah, I'm going to take my girlfriend out for dinner. Oh, really? Where are you going to go? Laguna's. It's her favorite restaurant. Oh, she's going to like that. How about you? What are you going to do? Well, I'm not going to go to a restaurant, but I am going to go to a dance. Sounds like fun. Well, have a good Valentine's Day. Thanks. You too. Now let's analyze the examples that you see on this chart. WH questions with be going to. What are you going to do for Valentine's Day? I'm going to go to a dance. I'm not going to go to a restaurant. Where are you going to go? We're going to go to Laguna's. We're not going to stay home. How are you going to get there? We're going to drive. We're not going to take a bus. Who's going to be there? My friends are going to be there. My sister isn't going to be there. In order to form WH questions with be going to, we can follow this formula. WH word plus verb to be plus the subject plus going to plus verb plus complement. Let's analyze a couple of these questions using this formula. What are you going to do for Valentine's Day? The WH word is what? Next we have the verb to be are. Then we have the subject you. After that we add going to. Then we have the verb do. And finally we put the complement and a question mark at the end for Valentine's Day. Let me choose one more example. How are you going to get there? The WH word is how. Next we have the verb to be are. Then we have the subject, you. After that, we need to add going to. Then we have the verb, get. And finally, we put the complement and a question mark at the end, there. Now it's your turn to practice making WH questions with be going to. I would like for you to make similar questions about the upcoming holidays in your country. After you complete this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay. Any questions? I would like for you to make some. Any questions about the, um, what are you going? What are you going to do? Where are you going to do? Uh, are you going to go? How are you going to go there? And who is going to be there? Okay, remember what? It's a general question. Where is when you want to know the location or a place? Uh, how is the manner? Okay, the manner that you are planning or expecting to do something. And who is a person, right? Who is going to be there? Okay, uh, these are, for example, four, right? There are some others, there are more. How many books are you going to buy? Okay. How often are you going to visit your parents next year? Okay, so you, there are some more words. Here they present four. Okay, I send them, I send a picture of this of this uh, screen to the WhatsApp so that we can uh, go now to the to the big breakout rooms, right? So that we can have a little practice.
Let me check the attendance. Okay, now let me let me make the group. Now how many do we have? Okay, if you're gonna go to the group, then in the group you're going to um, practice a conversation, right? About things, do things. What are you going to do? What, are, for example, you can say, uh, Miriam, what are you going to study next year? And then Miriam will invent and say, I'm going to study a uh, medicine. Oh, okay, good, excellent. Uh, where are you going to study medicine? Okay, I'm going to study medicine in uh, uh, the Federal National University. I'm going to study medicine in, I don't know, uh, in Mexico. Okay, that's fine. How are you going to pay? How are you going to pay those who study? Oh, my father is going to help me. Uh, I'm going to ask for a scholarship. Okay. And then I say, who is going to... Uh, Let's say to go with you, okay, nobody. I'm going to go alone. So these are, you know, asking and practicing these four questions, okay? And then you invent, you create the topic, okay, to use the question. Okay, questions? And then there will be- It's okay, teacher. Okay, perfect. So I'm going to make eight groups. There will be more or less three or four people. Nine, nine groups. Okay, there will be two or three people participating. Then I will visit quickly your group. And then after we come back to the, to the main session, to this session, and then we can uh, express or talk about the experience, right? Okay, now accept please the invitation that I'm sending you the invite in this moment. Okay, Evelyn, no, pro no problem with the invite. Evelyn Elizabeth.
Did you get the, invita the invite, Evelyn? Okay, I will. Well, thank you to another group. Hello, Evelyn Cubillas, can you hear me? Yes. Teacher, uh, I have a question. Go ahead. What is the question? Uh, how do you say uh, yeah. votación? How do you say? Votación. Okay, vote. To vote, I'm going to vote. Vote. I'm going to go voting. Vote. Voting. With a B, right? Voting with yes. B, 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 B. B, yes. Okay. Okay, thank Both you. B. Was, uh, yes, okay. Now, no problem. Okay. But... No, no. no. Okay, good. Then, uh, don't forget to... Somebody here. Okay, good. If you have any uh, questions, let me know, okay? Okay. Let me go to who are you? Como? Con quien, Como? Who are you going to work ah. tomorrow? Como, con quien tu vas a ir a Which going to wait, work wait, is going at the end? Who are you going to go to work? Where are you going to work tomorrow? Uh -huh. Where who are you going to work with tomorrow? Which is with, cuál, with no? el fin, no, ah. that's a with is con. Eh, no, el with, que está okay. diciendo que el with, el con, se lo agregas al final. Al final, ajá. En inglés, no es como, como en español que se pone al inicio. O sea, with who. And this is who are you going to go with? Con quién va a ir. The with is with is at the end. Ah, ok. Y así con... Ok, one. sería entonces how... No, who are you going to work with? Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to work uh, with my, my father. Perfect. Okay. Uh -huh. Come on. Uh, when, when going? When are? When going to go marker? Okay. When are? When, when are, are you are going? Going to when market. are you going to go to the market? I'm I'm going to go to the market uh, today. Tomorrow, or oh, after after the class. After the class, yes. Oh really? Okay, then after the class. Okay, I'm going to go to the market after. Class. Yes, really. No, yeah. After the class. <laughs> I wasn't like so surprised. But... <laughs> okay. Okay. Good. Excellent. Okay, continue practicing. All right. Okay. Okay. And, and when when are going going to the L the L okay. es así. the L es uno sí. es británico. Pero eh, si sí traduce una forma más lógica. Okay. I don't know. Okay. What is the question? No problem. No question. Ah, no. Okay. 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 Ok
Ya nos preguntamos de todo aquí. Oh, sí. That's good. Yes. That's, that's good. Okay. Exactly. Right. So then uh, you can ask, for example, a question with who? Who are you going to dance with? Who are you going to work with? Who are you going to play with? Okay. What are you going to do? When are you going to do? Okay. Excellent. Very good. Okay. okay, continue practicing and just let me check the other uh, groups and I'll be right back. Okay. Ah, uh, exacto. I'm going to study in Universidad Tecnológica. Uh -huh. um, take Technology University. Okay, yo, yo, the yo, yo creo que cuando, están en, cuando se dice el nombre, creo que se dice el, el nombre así como es en español. En español, ajá. Ah, ajá. Entonces, traducción. Sería, I'm going to study engineering in Universidad Tecnológica. Ah, okay. And you? Eh, I'm going to study medicine in. in Universidad de Salvador. <laughs> Ajá, para decir. For the for my birthday. Okay. So Sena, where are you going to go for the birthday? On my birthday, I will celebrate with my family. The mm -hmm. dinner. And yes. Okay. And um, Diego, how uh, you, uh, me? Yes. Me. Mm, so, and I think, <laughs> I think we play video games, maybe. <laughs> okay. uh, some case, especially. Mm. <laughs> Uh, no, oh, okay. I think no. <laughs> okay. uh, the last question, uh, how are you going uh, to get to work? Okay. Well, in my case, uh, okay, continue, continue, no problem. I am going to. Okay. No problem. Ask me something. What are you going to tomorrow? Okay. Uh, tomorrow, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna study at home. Are you going to buy a new car? Mm -hmm. I'm going to buy a car. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Five years ago. <laughs> <laughs> Tengo que ahorrar is I have to save money. Mucho dinero. Yes. Mm -hmm. Adultos? Hello, any questions? When are you going to go? No, it's okay. 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 Then continue with the practice, okay? Very good. Okay. Um, when are you going to, when are you going to go to the hospital? Voy a buscar, ¿cómo se dice? Pero sí, en eh, yeah, Normal My Family, eh, Teddy, eh, um, en Chocolate. Uh, at your, ¿Qué va? En tu mom, o tu sister, o tu uh, girlfriend. Eh, ¿Cómo se dice esta palabra? 
Es por... ¿Qué es Fernando? Casi... ¿Cuál, Fernando? ¿Cuál palabra? ¿Cuál palabra, Fernando? Pregunta, teacher. ¿Ah? Que la, es que la pena, ¿qué pregunta? Eh, la, 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 ¿Ah? no. Una pregunta muy compleja. Sí, es por la ocasión. ¿Cuál es la cuestión? Miren. Ah, uh, quiero ver. Where? Estábamos, uh, quiero ver. We were, we were uh, talking about the. Uh, Valentine's Day okay. is a uh, normal or a different day for for us. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. And and then um, I asking, I ask him. Yes. Uh, uh -huh. uh, Fernando, if he give a present. Are you or uh, are Who you is? mother or sister or girlfriend? Oh, okay. No? Cool. okay, good. And then, mm -hmm. Fernando, did you give a present, a gift to your mother or sister? Yeah, yeah. la respuesta era por ocasiones, pero se me había ido la como se decía ocasión. Occasion, sometimes. We say sometimes. Ah, sometimes. Sometimes. Ah, sometimes. Thank you. Okay. Or, uh -huh. or occasion. Teacher? Sometimes. Uh, yes. Occasion? And for some special occasions. Okay. Or sometimes. Ah, okay. okay. Sometimes. Good. All right. Okay. Excellent. Continue with the practice, right? Okay, teacher. Thank you. All right. You're welcome. Okay, good. Now let's see. Well, I saw everybody participating, okay, and then asking questions. Okay, the that was good. So everybody was speaking English. Okay, so that's another thing that is good. Okay, uh, any questions? Alguna duda de ustedes o pregunta? Yo los vi a todos activos en English. I think that's good. I like that. You were, you know. Practice in English, you know, with where, who, then uh, uh, what. Some of you were practicing how, okay? Now, do you have any questions about going to, what are you going to, where are you going to, or how are you going to? Teacher. Yes. Here, um, ¿Cómo se responde cuando en negativo con going to? Solo I'm not or... Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly. No, no, no. You say, I'm not. I'm not going to. I'm not gonna. Okay. Um, I'm going to write here in the chat. It says, what well, you can write. I'm going to write it complete, right? I'm not going to. I'm not going to work tomorrow. Okay. If you see there, we only add not. I am not going to work tomorrow. If you want to reduce the pronunciation, then you say, I'm not gonna. Okay, I'm not gonna work tomorrow. And then only that. Then you don't have to say uh, anything else. Only the word not between. Okay, that's important. Between uh, I'm and going. Okay, that's all you have to do. I'm not gonna, okay, I'm not gonna do this. I'm not going to do that. Okay, so that's the only thing you have to do. 
Okay, questions? Yes, teacher, I have a question, please. Uh -huh. Tell me, tell me. Uh, if, uh, can, can we use uh, gonna for a positive sentence or but? Mm, yes. Uh, give me an example. Uh, uh, I don't know, teacher, como, como, como darle un ejemplo, but mm -hmm. is my, uh -huh, my question is, Mm -hmm. We 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 can use uh, gonna for negative sentence or positive sentence. Or affirmative, yes. For example, you can say. For example, uh, I am not going to work. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I'm not going to work tomorrow. Okay, or, That's negative. Uh huh. Um, uh huh. And the affirmative. Uh -huh. I'm going to work tomorrow. Uh -huh. In negative sentence, I can use gonna, not, uh, I am, for example, I am not gonna to work tomorrow. Yes. So look at this, it's a two of the night, okay? I'm not gonna work tomorrow. I'm not? I'm not gonna. gonna. Uh -huh. I'm not gonna work. Uh... Okay. I eliminate, uh, tendría que eliminar el two. Que le pone aquí, no, If, I'm not gonna work tomorrow. Lo que pasa es que a veces okay, lo, lo, ajá, lo vuelve a poner, pero como, como lo omite cuando dice gonna, ahí lo omite, going to. I'm going to work ah, tomorrow. Okay. Okay? I am not okay. going to work tomorrow. Pero cuando uh -huh. se reduce en gonna, no se oye el to. And they will say, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna work okay. tomorrow. Pero es que a veces a uno al inicio tiende a decir, I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna to work, porque no escuchó el to que utiliza cuando lo dice completo. Ok, so I'm going to work, I'm not, uh, I'm not okay. going to work, I'm not gonna work. I'm not going to work, I'm not gonna work. I'm not okay. going to work, I'm not gonna work. So, so, I mean, yes, you can use it negative and affirmative. I'm going to work, I'm gonna work. No. Yes, no problem. Okay, any other? Oh, okay, teacher. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Thank you. Teacher, entonces, guana solo se utiliza cuando hablamos, no para escribirlo. Sí, se utiliza para escribirlo, pero en cuestiones bien informales. Por ejemplo, un chat de WhatsApp. O si se está escribiendo en, I don't know, redes sociales, right? O un mensaje a un amigo, right? Para... Si lo quiere mandar a un, a un jefe, un correo formal, una carta formal para un empleo, ahí se va. Ahí se usa going to. ¿Ok? Eh, okay. Para, que, para que lo comparemos, es como que les decía ayer, así en forma de broma, pero es en serio. Si usted pone en un correo, voy a ir a ver, o voy a ir a... Eh, entonces suena como que voy a ir, no, o sea, I'm going to, voy a ir. ¿Ok? Entonces es el voy a, que utiliza en español, pero no el with. Pero sería informal. Okay. Pero si les pongo ahí en un chat con amigos, les pongo ahí, eh, yo voy a ver qué pasa mañana. Okay. Les pongo with. Lo más que pueden hacer es fregarme todo. Ah, with, que no sé qué. But it's no problem. Okay. But in a formal letter, yes, it's a big problem. This is a un tema bastante serio, right? Entonces, in English is the same. Going to formal. Gonna informal. When you speak, uh -huh, and when you speak, the same. When you speak, formally, going to. If you speak informally, gonna. Okay, just remember, formal, informal. Okay? All right. So then, uh, now that we have this idea with uh, going to and gonna, now it's, uh, I think we have, still have time to share the screen again. And see the next topic here in the knowledge check, right? Let's see if we have this idea clear. It says complete the conversation with the correct form of be going to follow the example. Okay. 
So here there is a conversation. Who are you? And then you have to complete the missing part. Then I'm, what are you? And then we have this section here. Right? For example, how are you going to spend your summer vacation? My parents and I are going to visit my grandparents, okay? Then in the conversation one, how could you complete this question? Who are you? Invite to Thanksgiving dinner. Who are you going to invite the Thanksgiving dinner? Okay, so then all what you have to write, who are you? Who, who are you going, going, going to, to invite. invite? Going to invite only. Okay, going to invite. Look. Okay, no hay que escribir más ni menos porque se la va a tomar con una. Sure. Uh -huh. Con el going to, eh, no es necesario conjugar los verbos en tercera persona. Muy buena pregunta. No. Se conjuga eh, la del inicio, donde dice, are you going? Ahí sí. Se pone, is he, is he, is she going to? Pero después del going to, ya no. Ahí van going to invite, going to, ahí van de la forma en que están los perros. Okay. Okay. ok. Pero aquí si usted dice, who is going to? Ahí sí, aquí, hombre, aquí no, ven el marcador aquí. Mi, mi el verbo to be sería. Ah, el verbo to be. Aquí de la pregunta, ahí se está. Who is going to? Por ejemplo, aquí si dijera en vez de I'm, dijera he, he is going to. Si fuera she, okay. dijera she is going to. Si fuera it, un perrito, it is going to. Si fuera un gatito, it is going to. Ok. Ya para eh, he, she, it, cambia a is. De ahí lo demás, a, y el I am, right? I am going to. De ahí el resto son are. You are going to. We are going to. They are going to. Ok. In this case, for example, you say, ask. I'm, ask my family and some good friends. What is exactly what we did here? I'm going to, I'm ask. Going to ask. I'm going to ask. I'm going okay. to. Okay. No more, no less. I'm going to, I'm ask going to ask. My family okay. and some good friends. The next one. What are you do for Halloween? What are you going to? Mm -hmm. What are you going? What are you going to go? What are you going to going to go? To, to, what are you going, going to do? Uh -huh. What are, you, what going? are you going to do for Halloween? Okay, to do. What are you going to do? Going to do. Only going to do. Okay. Now, number and this one. Only tell me what you need here. Solo dígame lo que va aquí. Exactly. No more, no less. Going to. Not going hmm? to do. Uh -huh. Not going to do. Not going. Not going. Okay, not going to. Good. There you go. Because it's negative, right? And then when you read the sentence, I don't know. I'm not going to do. Okay, I'm not going to do anything special. And here, how are? Solo lo que va aquí. Are your parents going to celebrate New Year's Eve? Going to celebrate. Going to celebrate. Going to celebrate. Going to celebrate. Uh -huh. Going to celebrate. Okay. Going to. How are your parents going to celebrate? And there. Going to, to go. Going to go. Going mm -hmm. to go. Okay. Going to go. Then the next one. Going to do. Going to do. What, look at this. Aquí va el cambio. Lo que me preguntan. ¿eh? What is your sister? Porque es ella. Aquí cambia la tercera persona. Is going to do. 
Uh -huh. Going. Going to do. Going. Pero el going to do no cambia. Okay. And her boyfriend. He's going to do. Her boyfriend. Her boyfriend what? Going to take. Going to take. Going to take. He's going to take. Okay, porque estamos hablando de él, her boyfriend. He's going to take her out there. Okay? Okay. You can see all of them are correct. But when you do this exercise, tienen que tener cuidado de no ponerle más y menos, right? No hay puntos, no hay mayúsculas, no hay que va en el, right? Ocupando el verbo que está en parentes. Okay? Good. Okay, teacher. Perfect, perfect. Okay, then uh, I guess that this is it. For tomorrow, we have a uh, vocabulary. Tomorrow, we're going to study vocabulary about, um, let me show you, a word, power, special occasions, right? So this is what we're going to practice tomorrow. In case of, for example, weddings, uh, we're going to be practicing for anniversary. So tomorrow we're going to have a lot of vocabulary, right? This is anniversary. For example, send cards for Mother's Day, Father's Day, graduation, wedding, anniversary. Uh, I don't know what else. Uh, baby showers, okay? So we're going to be using that vocabulary tomorrow. Okay. Uh, any other? I don't know. Otra pregunta. Diva. Que nos haya quedado. No. No. Okay. no. Eh, siempre revisen de, de ah, con el documento del cómo van con el con el, la plataforma. Van avanzando, van a día, van más adelante. O cómo vamos. Al día, teacher. Ok. Recuerden, recuerden que si se quiere adelantar Vamos al día. Ok, y este llegan a, es exactamente el día. Me dijeron que hoy les iban a mandar a su WhatsApp una, la hojita para el, del material del manual. No sé si ya todos lo recibieron. O si, si ya sí, lo, ya lo mandaron. Sí, ya lo mandaron también. Sí, no. Creo que también es que me, me dijeron que les iban a mandar un formato en el PDF. Exacto. Entonces, ¿Eh? Ajá, WhatsApp. Ajá, imprimirlo o algo. Claro. Lo imprimen, lo vuelven a escanear, pero tienen que firmarlo, me dijeron, este original, porque nos aportan las eh, ¿Cómo que se llama? Las firmas así como montadas. Entonces, eso. Ok, people, then, if you have no more questions, that's all for today. Se me acaba el tiempo. Okay. Solo para... Perdón. Preguntar por la asistencia, teacher. Ya ahorita ya la tomé. Ajá, estaba en el estado ahorita. O sea, sí. Ya hice la captura de pantalla también, ya la tengo. Tomé okay. dos, una al inicio, porque se me, se me desaparecieron dos. Pero por aquí me pusieron el chat que tuvieron problemas de internet. Creo que en la primera sí me aparece. Siempre tomo una, los primeros. No les digo a veces por no estar perdiendo tiempo. Siempre me lo pido. Ok. Ustedes están practicando. Pero sí está bueno que me pregunten. ¿sí? Por ejemplo, lo hago al inicio, como los, oye, pero como los 10 minutos, cuando ya hay que estar la mayoría. Y al final, unos 5 minutos antes, voy a siempre hacer lo mismo. Ahorita aquí solo le tomo a la, al chat ¿sí? para ver quiénes están. Y aquí voy tomando ya la asistencia. Ok, ¿Sí? es que yo estaba acostumbrado a que nombraran cada quien. Ah, sí, pero, o sea, lo que pasa es que si hacemos eso, de no. Sí, se pierde mucho tiempo. Sí, se nos va la, o sea, yo creo que se nos va la hora. Y, bueno, y por lo menos no me dijeron eso, pero. Ahorita digamos que lo vamos a hacer de esta manera. No, para, no que aproveche, ajá, para que aprovechemos el tiempo. A menos que me digan lo contrario, pues comenzamos con el nombre. Ok. Ok, bye bye. So then, see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Excelente. Sí. Ok, bye. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Good night.